Hi guys, welcome to La Paz. So we are going to do our restaurant guide. So we are going to explore a couple of restaurants in this area. So we are in the San Miguel area. Uh, literally, you can't walk two minutes without hitting a restaurant. They are everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and we, are, we did explore a lot of restaurants during our 30 day stay. And what we're giving you guys now is a cream of the crop, the best of the best. And that's why this is the best restaurants in La Paz, Bolivia. All right, guys, so the next place we want to try is Baco Vaca. Baco and Vaca. Baco and Vaca. All right, seems to be some kind of uh, Brazilian, uh, Argentinian steakhouse kind of thing. Let's check it out. We saw meats, we saw grill. It's all good, right? Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so it's a steakhouse. Obviously we ordered <laughs> the steak platter where we get to sample all of them. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so we have uh, a little lunch right here, a little baguette, fresh baguette, and it looks like a homemade salsa. Which looks really good. Keep getting this out of my eyes. That's definitely fresh. Picante. Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> nice. As good as mine. That's pretty good. Oh, she means better. She's just the one insult me. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, well, there we go. I gotta try this. All right, guys, so our entrees have arrived. Uh, we basically took the uh, special platter of uh, steaks and meats and stuff with sausages. That comes with a special entree first of uh, chorizo sausage, some fried cheese, and a blood sausage. Uh, plus, this is basically kind of like a salad bar concept where they bring you out some uh, side dishes. So not quite sure what it's all going to be. Obviously, there's some tomatoes and some fried plantains, some cucumber salad type here, little mixed veggies. Not exactly certain what this is yet, so let's give this a little try. I mean, it looks like carrot. To me, it looks like carrot and potentially apple. Definitely apple. Yeah. Definitely apple. And I guess some carrot, maybe even... I don't know. I could only mostly identify the apple. It was tasty though. It was nice. Yeah, so there we go, guys. We're going to enjoy our little entree. And the meats will arrive shortly. We got ourselves a nice bottle of wine. It's a mystery wine. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's the way we felt it was described to us. Uh, the label was very mysterious. Not much written on there. Uh, and even in the back part, not telling you too, too much about what it, what it is. But it's freaking delicious. I love my red wine. Salud. Salud. Right, guys, so some of our meats have arrived, so. All of our I meats. I don't remember who they are. <laughs> steak, steak, steak. <laughs> I think this is the tip steak, the loin steak. And this is a chorizo steak, but this is nice and thick and just looks so deliciously juicy. Can't wait to dive in. Hey guys, so we're gonna give it all a try. <laughs> and at the end of our meal, like normal, we'll let you guys know what we think. I think we might need a bigger table. <laughs> all right guys, I think it's TKO. This was fantastic 
absolutely two thumbs up. This also solved a mystery for us. So our Airbnb is kind of diagonal right across the street and we've been getting these wonderful grill smells. This is where it's from. <laughs> absolutely. Um, ordered obviously too much, <laughs> but delicious. We will definitely be coming back. All right, like Jose said, we ordered too much. That's why there's a lot of leftover food, actually way too much leftover food. It's a little embarrassing how much we're leaving behind. Um, it was for three people, and quite honestly, at three people even, the portions are grande. So quite, really, really good, guys. This is two thumbs up for me too. Fabulous, meat was well seasoned, well cooked. Vegetable plate was really tasty. Everything was really tasty, it was really, really good. We really enjoyed ourselves. I'm gonna keep hammering at it, try to get as much in there as I can. <laughs> I guess so far I haven't tasted anything this good yet. Not to say that the food's bad here, it's really quite good. But this is, this is way to end my wheelhouse, guys. I love this food. Uh, and yeah, I think actually, I feel like I'm in their home almost. It's mm -hmm. like like they cook you know, with love and from their own home. So yeah, I like, I like these two guys. It's like they've got a great little restaurant here and I can't say enough and I hope you guys visit based off this little viewing. Baco and Baco, guys. All right, guys, so like normal, uh, the restaurant's information, contact information will be in the description down below. All right, guys, so if any of you are wondering what this costs, here you go, here's a little bill. So not too bad, rounding it up around 600 uh, Bolivians, which is pretty darn good for this meal. All right, guys, the next place we want to show you guys is called Lucky Cup. Lucky Cup. Now, I think this is a chain somewhere, so you, you know some of you might actually have one right by where you live. We've never been to a Lucky Cup before until here. We thought it was pretty darn good. That's why we're going to show it to you. All right, guys, as you can see, it is an extensive menu. You literally can have basically anything over here. There's all kinds of great eats, uh, even to crepes and everything. So now, I think I will be having, uh, I will find the page. And they got hamburgers, everything. One more, I think. Nope. And I think I'm gonna go for the polo a la mustaza, which is basically uh, chicken filet and mustard sauce. All right, guys, so the ambiance here is actually really quite cute. So every table has this beautiful little log centerpiece that's gas operated. Uh, last time we were here, it was dark, it was a little chilly, and they were all lit, and it was just awesome. Really nice atmosphere. All right, guys, in Bolivia so far, we have been totally enjoying Campos de Solana. Uh, we've tried a couple of different variations, Merlots, Malbecs, even some of their mixed. Highly recommended, delicious. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. All right, guys, food's arrived. I saw chili, uh, Philly cheesesteak on the menu. I had to try it, it looked delicious, it smells delicious. So the sleeves are rolled up, because we're going in. <laughs> They want to cut it in half first. Crispy. Mm. Love it. Look at all that cheese. Can you see it? Mm, cheese. All right. Going in. Cheesy. This is gonna be messy. If you're licking your fingers, it's good, right? Guys, I like this meal. Mustard chicken. Love mustard chicken. Anytime you can get it, I try it. Uh, it comes with basic fries, some veggies, you know, basic plate. 
but the chicken's the star. They make a really, really good mustard sauce here. Check that out. That's just mm 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 yummy. Chef nailed it. Great mustard sauce again. <laughs> it's gonna be a wonderful meal. All right, guys. I knew it was gonna be messy. The <laughs> plate shows that it's messy. I've gone through I don't know how many napkins. <laughs> it was good. Um, did have the traditional Philly cheesesteak taste, but the sauce was just a little too much. A little too much. Still yummy, but just too much sauce. Hi guys. Oh, my plate's already gotten picked up. I'm a quick eater. A little bit of a dog. Uh, <laughs> but uh, look, it was as good as I expected it was going to be. Mustard sauce, winner, winner, chicken dinner all the way. Uh, yeah, gets two thumbs up for me on that meal. Quite honestly, I barely tried any other meals here. So the mustard one, chicken is awesome. And the steak one that I had the last time was really, really good too. Uh, Josie might not order her Philly cheesesteak again the second time because it had too much sauce in it. But you know what? The size of this menu, they can't all be 100% winners. Doesn't mean anything. The restaurant is still quite fabulous here. I highly recommend you guys check it out if ever you're in a neighborhood in La Paz. All right, everyone. Another one of our favorite spots here in La Paz, Bolivia. Fellini, when you're in the mood for Italian. Yeah. Can't beat it. Nope, it's really good, guys. Come with us. All right, guys, they have a great menu in this place. Meats, pastas, everything, natural. But, sorry, I made a mess. Uh, but what I came for is the pizzas and the calzone. When I can get a calzone, I think a calzone. You're in an Italian restaurant, they give you bread and you have the balsamic vinegar and the good olive oil. This is what you do with it. Take the bread and you go mush, mush, mush. <laughs> mush, 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 eh? <laughs> mush, mush, mush. Dollars. Salut. Cheers. Hey, guys. To our surprise, Bolivia has some really great wines, but at the very least, one truly amazing winery. The Campos de Salana is truly exceptional. We've been drinking it everywhere. It's available everywhere, which is freaking awesome. This is definitely one of my favorites, which is the Tri Varital, which is basically three blends, which actually has Petit Verdot, Penat, and Malbec. It comes together beautifully. Highly recommend you guys check out the wines when in Bolivia. They're super surprising. Guys, food has arrived. This is so exciting. <laughs> so this is a chorizo, caramelized onions, bacon, red pepper pizza. It, look at the oil in there. This just, oh, it's got us written all over it. <laughs> Delish. Let me try a bite. Which piece will be easier? Oh, look, a girl. Do it with your hands. That's what that. it is. So just look at that. You want pizza? Don't do it at home. guys nice and cheesy nice and flavorful the sauce is nice but not overly 
tomato pasty. But the caramelized onions just gives it this nice little sweetness. It's just, I'm gonna devour this all. Doesn't look like I could, I can. All right guys, I took the calzone, like I said I would. It comes a little puffy sometimes. It's not the most stuffed calzone I've ever had, but the flavors are really there. Turn that around a bit. Wants to ooze out a little bit. That's always fun. And we'll get ourselves a little taste. Seems like I've got more or less still part of the end. So I got cheese and tomato sauce. With just a little bit of meat and mushrooms. Because that's basically what this calzone is. It's got a little bit of meat, like ham type thing, some mushrooms, cheese, tomato sauce. Ooh, really nice, it's fresh, homemade tomato sauce. Really, it's a home run. One of my favorite little meals to have, and I'm very happy to get it here in the pies. All right, guys, I'm still finishing up, but as you can see, I'm gonna eat it all. I'm gonna eat it all. This was delicious. <laughs> this calzone was delicious. My pizza, absolutely fabulous. The caramelized onions on it were just Two thumbs, one on each side. What can I say, guys? It's a girl's own. It's done right. <laughs> it's two thumbs up. Enough said. Check them out when you're in La Paz, guys. Bye. Muchas gracias. Buenas tardes. So look, this place has got everything you expect from a Tex-Mex place. You've got your tacos, you've got your enchiladas, you've got basically everything and everything you can think of. Right down even burgers and stuff like that. Haven't tried them? Stuck really with the traditional Tex-Mex. One thing we just saw, and we're going to try to get it, <laughs> is on the menu here in the Cervezas, they actually got Guinness on draft. When the waiter comes, we will ask for that. We'll see what we get. But <laughs> Guinness on draft is something we have not had since we left Canada. That'll be a heck of a treat. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We were very excited when we saw Guinness on the menu. Sadly, they don't have. We, we, we kind of suspected because nobody really has Guinness. <laughs> but we had hopes. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like Jose just said. Uh, we've seen Guinness on multiple menus, different countries throughout South America. Every single time, that's just old print, man. They don't have that. They can't get it. They don't hold it. Either it wasn't popular, but it's printed on the menus. We try every time. It has not succeeded yet. We might have to hop the pond to get a good Guinness. I think I've heard of a place where they kind of, you know, they might have that. <laughs> <laughs> Not this year, guys. That's the coolest vase I've ever seen, guys. All right, guys, so this is, um, I guess, an entree. It's the Highland Chips, handmade tortilla chips with guacamole salsa. Both of them absolutely delicious, but my favorite, guacamole. It's good and healthy. Good green fat. <laughs> Alright guys, like we said, no Guinness, but we went for margaritas. Tex Mex. Sounds right. So there we go. Let's see how these measure up. I love margaritas to start with that salt area. Always love them. These are pretty nice. This probably won't be my 
probably won't be my uh, only one. Cheers. Cheers. All right, guys, food's arrived. So we've had some of this already. Quesadillas with um, beef, cheese, but avocado. So, you know, got to get that good fat. Fajitas, chicken fajitas. This chicken is so tender and juicy. Absolutely fabulous. And chipotle barbecue enchiladas. So stuffed with beef, but with a nice chipotle barbecue sauce. Just divine. We're going to eat it all. Guys, that's the sigh of I'm full. This was delicious. <laughs> we kind of ate it all. There's just, you know, little sides left, but the major stuff, you know, chips, enchiladas, quesadillas were. <laughs> he didn't like them. I did. <laughs> but he does everything absolutely delicious. Two thumbs up from me. All right, guys. Again, two thumbs up for me too. Uh, yeah, you know, we over-ordered, but we knew we over-ordered, but we want the flavors. So sometimes you just gotta do that. Uh, too bad we didn't polish off enough of the fajitas, quite honestly, because they're quite delicious. But we did good work on everything else, and that's what I call this, good work. So, <laughs> this is very fine Tex-Mex. Guys, if you're ever in La Paz, check them out. Really, really great. Actually, we can't praise them enough. All right, guys. So this is going to end our restaurant guide in La Paz. Hope you guys enjoyed it. From the comments we get, I think you guys really enjoyed the restaurant guides. So this is La Paz, and this is where you can eat.